Hey everyone, Justin Lucas here. Want to share uh, probably one of the best worms of all time with you guys and the two different ways to, to rig it that are pretty much the best ways and the only ways you need to know how. First off, it's a 10 inch Berkeley power worm scented with power bait and that thing honestly is, might have caught more fish in the last 30 years than anything else. So uh, when you think about how to rig it, there's two different ways that I rig it, period. Uh, the first one, and the one that I use most often, is a straight Texas rig. I have a 3 8 or half ounce weight on it most of the time. It's gonna be anywhere from 10 to 25 feet of water. And really, I like the Texas rig more when I'm, I'm trying to make that precise cast and fish a specific spot. And you know, there might be some cover down there, some brush, whatever, the Texas rig is gonna come through it the best. I don't peg the weight. Uh, and I use a 5 aught new Fusion 19 hook that is super sharp. It's the 5 aught offset hook. And really, as you can tell there, just a very streamlined bait. Truly, I don't uh, use a 7-inch power worm a whole lot. Maybe if I'm in shallower water and fishing it through some type of grass, uh, just because this tail is so long that it will kind of hold on some grass, it might cause the bait from free-flowing real well in that shallow, grassy water. So other than that, if I'm fishing 8, 10 feet or deeper, it's always gonna be a 10 inch power worm. And that ribbon tail, of course, gives it a ton of action. The next way to rig it, and I like this if I'm covering water and there's not as much uh, brush and stuff to get snagged in, more just rock specifically. Uh, this is gonna be a Carolina rig. And again, you know, just an old school way to catch fish, but you know, a technique that really works when you're trying to cover water and you know, use a big bait like the 10 inch power worm. So again, a five aught hook, uh, 15 to 20 pound for your liter of uh, fluorocarbon, trilene 100% uh, fluorocarbon, and then anywhere from a half to a one ounce weight. I believe that's a three quarter right there. And then, you know, you just want a strong swivel in between to connect the lines. I tie a San Diego jam knot on each end of the swivel. So I know I got a great strong knot on each end and, you know, then the weight. So, you know, I've caught 12 inch fish on this thing and 10 inch fish, honestly. So it's pretty amazing that it's that small of a bass can actually eat it. And you're definitely not hurting yourself by throwing a worm this big. You're still gonna get plenty of bites.